Hey there, G2 Army. Orb here with another G2 month in review for September. We have a lot in store for you this month, so let's get to it. Our League of Legends team cemented themselves as the best in Europe, winning their second consecutive LEC title in Athens against rivals Fnatic in a close 3-2-2 final. After resting our wrists and our brains, the boys flew to London, England to boot camp at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere in preparation for Worlds. Now this month was a big one for our CSGO squad. Ahead of ESL1 New York, we bid farewell to legend and longtime player Richard Shocks Papillon, and in his stead we welcome Fabian Kyushima Fai as a stand-in for the event. This city that never sleeps clearly put stars in our eyes as we battled through the group stages and earned our place in the semi-finals which took place in the famous Barclays Center. Our journey ended here however as we fell 0-2 in the semi-finals to evil geniuses who would go on to win the tournament. After New York, we were ready to leave the Big Apple and go global. Ahead of DreamHack Master Masters Malma, we announced the addition of Hunter and Nexa to the team. These changes bring an end to our full French roster but signal the start of a bright new future for G2 CSGO. We also welcomed our Apex Legends squad Mimu, Retta, and Cyril Nothing to the G2 Army this past month. They dove right in playing in the first Apex preseason invitational in Krakow, Poland, and after an insane showing in groups, they qualified for the grand finals and a piece of the 500,000 prize pool. Up against the world's best competition and a tough set of games, they finished seventh place and took home $24,000. Now this was a strong first outing for the boys and we can't wait to see them back in action real soon. Pro League is back, baby, and it was well worth the wait. Now, we returned to fighting form to take down Team Empire and Vitality, taking second place in the standings. This puts us in qualifying contention for the finals in Japan later this November. Keep up the great work, guys. Now for Fortnite, Tuhai played in the EU Fortnite Champion Series, making it to the finals, finishing 4th place and bringing home $52,800. Now, be sure to check out Tuhai's stream and drop him a follow for more great Fortnite content. Now moving over to Rocket League, the squad flew out to Montreal to compete in the DreamHack Pro Circuit and the boys didn't hold back. Getting all the way to the finals with a flawless but overtime filled run, we were bested 3-4 by the Peeps in a close final series that was one to remember. Our racers have been busy on the track this past month. Keegan is now already locked in the top four for the last race of the season. He is a favorite going into the last race on Tuesday and if he wins, he'll secure the championship and $40,000. Now in partnership news, this month we took the hashtag the big step and expanded our partnership with Red Bull, continuing our collaboration to entertain, excite and create incredible content for fans across the world. In celebration as our teams took the big step on stage in tournaments across the world, Red Bull was there to give them wings. Now the G2 Army didn't just invade Area 51, we also invaded TwitchCon as well. It was an action-packed weekend as myself and fellow content creators for G2, Lothar, Hafu, and Athena, as well as the Rocket League team, descended on sunny San Diego, California. Our Rocket League squad and Athena also took time to meet fans, stream, and test out Steel Circus. Lothar HS, XQC, and Overpower took third in the Apex Rivals tournament, bringing home 25 thousand dollars and some sick medals. Hafu played in Twitch Rivals TFT placing second and taking home eleven thousand dollars for herself. Be sure to follow all of our content creators on Twitch and socials to not miss any of the action. It wasn't all just games in New York, we had some fun as well hosting the Party for the Ages in partnership with ESL. There was fun and dancing, awesome entertainment from Calvin Colt and lots of cake. I, I do mean there was a lot of cake. Oh, G2 Esports on Instagram, on Twitter to keep up to date. Now, if you think you couldn't get enough G2 in September, just wait for October. We'll be representing Europe in the League of Legends World Championship starting in Berlin with the group stage on October 13th. After groups, look to see us in Madrid for the quarter and semi-finals. The Rainbow Six squad will be finishing out the rest of the Pro League, so be sure to support them on the road to Japan. Keegan will now drive in the last race of the 2019 eNASCAR Peak Antifreeze Eye Racing Series on October 10th. Now with that said, my friends, that will conclude our G2 month in review video for September. My name is Ben Orb. You can find my links down below as well as all of G2's social channels. So please be sure to get involved and I will see you next month. Let's go G2.